Star is not sure about that kitty cat over there. Now they're back together. Don't hurt her, Star. Don't hurt the baby. I gotta keep Star on the lead. We are just too close to the road. When we're out camping in the woods, she stays right with me, but I'm not sure what she would do um, right here. And I would hate to lose her. Don't hurt the baby, Star. Cat doesn't seem to mind Star at all. It must must be around dogs. Star, don't hurt her. Star has not even attempted to bark at her. Our other little dog, when she's seen her, she just started going crazy. What a blast we're having out here this morning. Welcome. We're going to try some bushcraft cooking today. I'm going to make a nice fire. We're going to try to cook a roast over an open fire using nothing but sticks. We'll see how it goes. Star and this cat back there has been having a blast. This cat came from wherever, um, but she doesn't seem to mind dogs. Got my G4 free chair out here today it's a high back so it's got to take a few minutes to put it together I put it together a few times it's even got a headrest And then I'll put the headrest on here if I want to. Just hat sits there like that. Velcro's over here. You can adjust it. The one I have used it, I really liked it. There. Take my saw out of my pocket. Oh. It's supposed to get really windy today. I'm gonna take some more off the end of this. I'm gonna leave about uh, probably a foot to put in the ground. I gotta go grab my shrade. I got this axe. I'm gonna try to point the end of this up. I got this axe, and I didn't really take time to sharpen it. I, uh, just wanted to get out using it. It's a 24 inch. So I'm trying to point, put a point on the end of this, make it easier to drive into the ground. I just put a little edge on it a little bit. It'll be working okay. I think that'll work okay. Should be okay. Got them made. Now I gotta get the other one. I 
can't really do this really good right now because well I can't lock it because I'm about 16 days from my surgery I need a new hip and it's going to be weird it's going to be weird walking around with something inside of me that's not real or I mean it's real it's titanium but it's not me and it's just going to be weird I was telling Connie that just the thought of knowing it's in there and being scared something's going to pop out or but I have from what I've been told the best doctor in the area and uh, I'll take you guys along with me like I say my surgery's 16 days out but I have to have it if I want to continue doing what I love uh, it's really today I'm having a pretty good day but when I take a lot of steps and if I can't stop, then it really starts bothering me. And I'm still working a full-time job. And uh, I'm not as good a worker right now as I once was. But I'll get back to being a good worker. But every time Star and I go out, it's really miserable sometimes just, just sleeping at night. So I've got to get it done. And I am going to get it done. And I'll take you along with me. Right now, I gotta get my stick cleaned up. Gotta knock these little nubs off of here, Star. That's what we're gonna use. About the only thing you get out of wood and nature is nutrients anyway unless you would get a bad mushroom it wouldn't be so good supposed to have high winds here today i may end up having to hang a tarp over there to block the wind nothing behind me to really catch fire We've got some pretty good winds here, but I've got this tarp up blocking the majority of it. So, it should be okay. i got to get these coals going so I can cook that beef here in a little bit.
I moved that fire pit out about two feet so it would be farther away from the tarp. I don't want to melt my tarp. I think she's going to be okay. We'll let that burn down, get some good coals, and then I'll go get the meat and put it on. That fire's looking really, really good. It's getting burning down, making some good coals in the bottom. Let it burn down a little bit more. And now go we'll get the beef and put her on there. Now I'll just have to add a log every now and then to keep it nice and hot. Well, I got her on. The only thing I'm concerned about is the wind. It's blowing the heat away. I'm hoping the wind dies down here in a little bit. They're saying we might get some good rain tonight. But I guess we'll see. We need a good rain, actually. Whoa! Boy, that's a gust. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm afraid it's going to blow my good heat away that's supposed to be going straight up. I don't want the fire too hot underneath there, but yet I want good heat rising. That oil dripping down there is raising them flames up. It'll die down here in a minute. I went and found some apple. I'm going to go ahead and throw some apple on there. If you don't know, apple is one of the best woods to cook with. I got another big chunk of apple right here. That apple. 
it's got a good smell to it when it burns and uh as to the flavor of the beef when we was out west i never smelt any prettier smelling wood when it burned than juniper if you ever get to smell some juniper you're going to be blessed it's real plentiful in the southwest Good coffee. Boy, she's coming along pretty good. Put some slices in there so I can put some, get some seasoning down in there and some olive oil. I'm going to wrap it up with foil pretty soon so I can hold the juices in. The outside is pretty well seared. Okay, I'm going to pull that off of there. Mmm, juices are coming out of that thing. I know what that looks like. That's olive oil, believe me. Ooh, look at them juices come out of there. This is my first time. Looks pretty good to me. Oh yeah, I like that. Never ever cooked one of these before like this. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I'll be back to see you in a little bit and I'll let you know if it was any good. Well, that was really good. I promise it was. I just didn't take the time to sit and film it. But, man, it's been a good day so far. we got a better night coming. And we're going to take you along with us and stick around. Look at that thing back there. She's knocked out. She's a party pooper. She, as soon as it gets dark, she, she wants in the tent or she was out there chewing on a bone and went to check on her she was already in here under the tarp she's she was ready for bed when it gets dark i thought i'd pull the fire up really good one more time before i roll in i can really feel that heat up underneath that tarp and if i would have built a i don't need it tonight but if i would have built a deflector out here it would have really deflected it up underneath there. Yep, I'm gonna be warm tonight. I'll probably get up, throw a few logs on it overnight. Just keep the ashes hot. Looking into there, looks like there's some type of flashing light. 
too far into the woods. That's a little freaky. Maybe some type of beacon or something. there. That's my baby. So far it's been uneventful. There's a wide band of rain headed this way. Um, it looked like it may be an hour or two away. And um, looked like a pretty good band of rain. We'll see if it comes. But looking out there and the fire is almost out, which I'm kind of kind of glad because the smoke's really just whipping up underneath this tarp. <sighs> Threw the long sleeves on, and uh, yeah, if anything happens, I'll let you know. Other than that, we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. Last night, it wasn't a very good night. I, uh, the winds were swirling just right. And Star and I woke up about 12.30 and the winds were just right that they was carrying the smoke up underneath the tarp. And I don't know how long I had been breathing that smoke, but it was just laying in there. And I was really really felt ill and I can still <clears throat> taste uh, smoke in my lungs and sinuses so it wasn't a good night um, I would think when we tarp camp that we have to make sure that there's very little wind um, or at least that the winds not uh, uh, when I went to bed the wind was carrying the smoke away and I, evidently it changed um, direction but it really, um, this, it was really thick in that tarp. So we have to be careful when we tarp camp. And uh, it's really all I got this morning. Um, I gotta, just got to get packed up. But thanks for coming along. And um, subscribe if you like the video. And if you don't, don't subscribe. And give me a thumbs up and comment but another camping adventure is over you all have a good week and never stop dreaming well that's what she looks like torn down let the sleeping bag dry out a little bit but we got to do now is pack it up in the jeep i think uh that copper pillow there i'm going to get me a probably a smaller my pillow and a stuff sack and that's going to be my pillow. I think then my pillows will probably go into a stuff sack pretty good. See you next time.